Good evening to those bored enough to watch. A common way to allow accessibility with video games is to re-release them to modern consoles, whether it be with quality of life changes or general enhancements catered for newer hardware. There are a multitude of ways that this can be done, whether it be through that of individually releasing ports or at times simply remaking a game, recontextualizing the experience for newer players while still pleasing older ones. However, sometimes certain games don't need remakes, just a port or remaster to adhere to a newer console and its enhancements that may have not been present in the original hardware when developing the game. Game. Sometimes, however, individually re-releasing a game can be inconvenient for both the developer and the consumer, in which introduced the concept of game collections, selling multiple games of the same franchise or by the same developer for a single price, allowing for a convenient method for players to obtain and subsequently play a game. Personally, I used to never really like collections, I always tried to collect my games individually, and to this day I still do try to buy my games individually wherever possible, though as of now I have accepted the concept more and more, because at times it's the only way to get to play a game game depending on where you are. And so, though I try to avoid wherever possible, in this video I want to talk about game collections and how through time I've grown to embrace them with open arms. So, with that said, let's discuss game collections. As mentioned in the introduction, depending on where you are, some games are difficult to obtain for a multitude of reasons, an example of this being that said games are never really released in certain areas for one reason or another. In the case of Yakuza 5, this was originally due to the low sales of the series as a whole during that period of time in the West, and with the failed localizations of Yakuza 3 and 4 commercially, Yakuza 5 was simply kept in Japan and never released in the West until 2015 when it was released to the PS3 digitally, with no physical release alongside it. Ultimately due to the fact that Sega likely didn't want to spend the money to manufacture a game's physical copy if it was more likely than not to fail, in which the West would eventually get a physical release with the Yakuza Remastered Collection in 2019, alongside remastered versions of Yakuza 3 and 4. For many people such as myself, the Remastered Collection was the only way to own the Yakuza games physically on modern hardware without spending absurd amounts of money on the original PS3 releases. The Yakuza Remastered Collection is, quite frankly, very, very much worth it, as it allows for you to play through Yakuza 3, 4 and 5 for the price of a single game, in which with these games being as good as they are, it is very much worth it for such an affordable price as far as modern video games go, and I couldn't recommend it more. This is a brilliant example of a video game collection as it gives the western Yakuza audiences things that they never got while also giving a new audience a great way to play through the rest of the Yakuza games after Yakuza Kiwami 2. Another great example I want to talk about is that of the Uncharted collection, specifically that of the Nathan Drake collection which allowed for you to play through Uncharted 1, 2 and 3 in which is a great deal considering how amazing the Uncharted games are. Personally, this is how I first played through the games, as I had never really given the Uncharted games a chance until one day, I was outside, yes, I know, shocking, and saw the game at a shop I happened to be browsing games in. I bought it, and while it did take me a while to eventually get around to playing them, I really did enjoy my time with these games, regardless of some of the issues I encountered with them that I won't be getting into during this video as it's besides the point. This collection was amazing for its relatively low cost as a PlayStation Hits game that contained three amazing games that you're bound to enjoy your time with. Steam also has its fair share of great deals with this concept too, as sometimes developers will include bundles that you can purchase in order to obtain a multitude of games under your Steam library. I should add, when it comes to Steam bundles, it is better to wait for a sale and then purchase them then as that's when they're at their cheapest, which is definitely how I grew to become a fan of many great games such as that of Figment and Bedtime Digital Games' library as a whole. Figment was an amazing game due to its well thought out puzzles, its great story and amazing soundtrack which to this day I find memorable and do not regret that purchase. And said purchase is thanks to a bundle that happened to be on sale when I first encountered it during an occasional surf for games to play. Overall, at first I wasn't really fond of game collections, I always tried my best to collect my games individually since I am mostly a physical collector. To this day, I still try to do so wherever possible, but through the experience of amazing collections and bundles such as that of the ones mentioned in this video, I have grown to embrace this concept of collections and video games more, as they've allowed for me to play through amazing games that I shan't soon forget. So there's the video, I hope you all enjoyed it. This video was definitely an interesting one to make and I hope you all consider playing through some of the games I talked about. They're really great games and I would love to hear what you all think of them. If you want to view the list of games I want to make videos about in the future then you can always do so through the link in the description. Additionally if you want to follow me then my socials will be linked in the description as well as any afterthoughts or messages I may want to add. With that I haven't really got much else I want to say so I'll see you all in my next video. I hope you all enjoyed the video and I wish you all a very pleasant evening.